Hello, this is Eric Reynolds of Bandana Man, and today we're going to talk about pumpkins. Woohoo! Pumpkins, exciting! That's right, because it's pumpkin spice season, which means it's after Halloween but before Thanksgiving. And you probably have some uncarved pumpkins sitting around, left over from decorating your house. So what are you going to do with them? You're going to eat them, of course. So what we're going to talk about real quick here is eating pumpkins. Now, for more information on pumpkins, such as how they got their names, some fun pumpkin facts like the Great Pumpkin Flood of 1786, and some other cool things also on how to cook these pumpkins, go to the Woodsman's Journal online and read pumpkins. Boil them, mash them, eat them in a stew. Okay? Now, what, we're gonna do, what we've got here is a baked pumpkin. Okay, two different types. We have the white pumpkin, we have a nice orange pumpkin, all right? Um, and what I've done is I've cooked them in a Native American, early European colonist type of manner. Now, these were staple uh, items for the diets for both the Native Americans and the early colonial um, people coming into the north, uh, old northwest frontier and the uh, New England frontiers. They ate a lot of pumpkin initially. Um, what they would have done to cook these is put them into a fire hole. They would have made a, a hole in the ground, lined it with rocks, get a fire going, put this in here, and baked it up. I use the modern equivalent, a crock pot. Okay, now, so what we're about ready to do here is we're going to put a little bit of sauce on them. Now, this is a Native American sauce. Um, the Native Americans would have used bear's grease and some maple syrup to make a nice dipping sauce. Now, I'm fresh out of bear's grease, so we substituted some bacon grease, okay? But we put the maple syrup in there, we've got it on there. Now I'm going to taste it, and I'm going to tell you what it tastes like. Okay, we're going to try the white pumpkin first. That's nice. Very good. The sauce is very, very nice. Very mapley flavor. And you can taste a little bit of the bacon flavor to it too, so it kind of gives you a nice salty flavor. Okay, here's the orange pumpkin. Now, the orange pumpkin is a little more vegetable-y. I like the white pumpkin. Um, when I originally started cooking these up, the uh, white pumpkin reminded me more of an acorn squash in consistency on the inside. And the uh, obviously the jack-o'-lantern style pumpkin here was a little bit drier and it's a lot less sweet. This is a much sweeter pumpkin. So, if you're looking at making some pumpkins and you have some left over, if you got some white pumpkins, cook them up. They're good. They're good with that nice maple syrup sauce too. Um, you can definitely eat your, um, your orange pumpkins, your jack-o'-lantern pumpkins. Just not quite as sweet. They have more of a vegetable flavor. But either case, they're all real good. So, until next time, I want to thank my uh, camera person. And I want to say happy trails. Check out my blog, The Woodman's Journal Online. And obviously the other videos that are on Bandana Man Productions. Happy trails. And until next time.